In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to bold a word, underline a word, and italicize a word in Microsoft Word 2013. And I'm going to begin by bolding the word bold. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and select that word by simply highlighting it with my mouse. And when I finish highlighting the word, you will see my mini toolbar opens up. And I have the options to bold it from here, italicize it from here, or underline it from here. So all the things I'm going to feature in this video can actually be done from within the mini toolbar, which typically will appear after you highlight a word. However, in this case, I want to show you how to do the same feature from the actual ribbon. It's important that you're in the Home tab, which will give you your font group in the ribbon. And again, I can see I have bold, italics, and underline. If I go ahead and click on the bold button, which is the B, my word has become bold. And you can see that the bold button is now highlighted with the color blue, meaning that it is active. And in many cases, this is nothing more than a toggle switch. If I click on it again, it turns off. As you can see, the B is no longer highlighted. If I click on it again, it is now highlighted again, which means my word is bold. Another way to do this without actually clicking on the button, either in the ribbon or the mini toolbar, is to use a keyboard shortcut. And that keyboard shortcut, as it will tell you as you hover over the actual bold command, is Control plus B. So let's try this. Control and B on your keyboard will toggle bold on and off. And again, I know this by looking at the actual bold button. It's showing me that currently bold is on. And I can also look at the word that I'm trying to bold. And you can see that bold has been applied. So that's how you bold a word. Let's go ahead and underline the word underline. So once again, I'm going to select it. And when I select it, the mini toolbar again reappears. And just like before, I'm going to actually show you how to do this from the ribbon. So in the home tab, in the font group, if I click on the I, that will italicize it. But if I click on the U, that will underline it, as you can see. And again, this is a toggle switch on and off. And right next to the underline button, you're going to see there's a drop down arrow, which will actually provide me with variations on the underline. So if I don't want the solid line underline, but perhaps a double line, I can go ahead and select that. And as you can see, I can actually alter the type of underline I'm using. And just like before, if I go ahead and use a keyboard shortcut of control plus U, I can go ahead and turn off underline and turn it on, so on and so forth. Again, control plus U will turn on and turn off underline. So now we've reached a portion of the video where you learn how to italicize a word. And I'm going to italicize the word italics. Once again, I select it. And as you can see, my mini toolbar appears. And this time around, instead of using the ribbon, I'm simply going to go ahead and press the I, which will italicize the word. And as you can see now, the I is highlighted, which means that it's turned on. And if you look at the word, which is kind of hard to see because the mini toolbar is over top of it, it is italicized. So I'm going to go ahead and move my mouse out of the area of the mini toolbar, which will make the mini toolbar disappear. And as you can see, italics is in fact italicized. And just like before, there's a keyboard shortcut that's associated with this. Control plus I. So Control plus I will toggle this on and toggle it off, as you can see on your screen. So there you have it, a variety of ways to bold a word, underline a word, and italicize a word in Microsoft Word 2013.